Hey guys, it is Echo and welcome back to another Minecraft Xbox 360 edition decorations tutorial. Now this is the third episode. We are going to be designing and creating an entertainment room. Now in my opinion, this is the best episode so far. If you did miss any of the previous episodes, check them out in the description. We covered the bathroom and we covered the bedroom, which was a very, very successful episode last time round. Now for you guys who are new, Thank you for subscribing and welcome to a brand new series. Now I started this series uh, two weeks ago I think it was. I have many many more to come. I believe it's going to be like a 8 to 10 series, part series, episode thing. I don't even know what to call it. But welcome, let's get into this and let's have so much fun. Now this is the entertainment room. It was by far the best one I enjoyed doing out of all the tutorials so far. I love the entertainment room. There's so much more I could have added, which I didn't, such as pool tables, trampolines, but I'm sure you guys know them already. If you'd like to see more entertainment room designs, let me know in the comments. So let's get on with this tutorial. Now to start off with, if you do like the flooring, that is because it took a goddamn long time to make because it's stone slab um, done up twice and a lot of iron blocks so if you're in survival this would take you a long long time to do but hey it looks very very awesome for an entertainment room uh, it's just stone brick walls and normal brick as well that's just down to you these are just little rooms like I said the last episode was the bedroom and then we had the bathroom which was the first ever episode so let's get into this one now I'm gonna start off from left to right so we're gonna start here now these are the arcade machines now these are very easy to do and these can pretty much make your house look a little bit more compact and more detail in size I use different woods again you can use whatever wood you'd like to use but these are really really easy to do uh, we're gonna break them I'm gonna show you how they work oops I broke the wall just break all of these. Da -da 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 -da. I cannot wait for them to fix the upside down stairs. It's, uh, it's a longer pro- what the hell? Um, um, oh god, I broke the floor again. But yeah, it is a little bit more confusing when you have to place a block above it to place an upside down stairs. It's goddamn frustrating. So 4J Studios, please fix that. So let me just fix the flooring real quick. Um, I guess that doesn't really matter, but we're going to fix it anyway. Stone bricks, there we go, do, do, do. Okay, so this requires whatever wood you like. I'm going to change it. We're going to use this one, this one, and this one. And then you need to get the upside down stairs, which will be this one, this one. Is it this one? Where is it? There it is. Okay, so place them wherever you want in your room. For example, one, two, three. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I apologize about that. I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. So then place a block above it. Um, make sure obviously it's the representing block. It doesn't really matter in fact because you can just do this like that Then you break it again. You break it place it there you break it now again It's so basic a lot of these designs that I'm doing are basic and don't forget there is more stuff You can add but a lot of it is more PC build if you google how to make designs on houses in Minecraft a lot of the tutorials our PC, which some of them don't work on Xbox. Don't forget, we're still not up to uh, the current version of Minecraft on PC. So do bear with me. I will update these tutorials as more info does come out. Now you're just placing, oops, you're placing these on either side of the machine. You might get double like that, so don't worry. Just break it and replace it. As you can see there, oops, it keeps happening all the time. Don't worry, it will happen pretty often. Then you place an item frame in each single one and then place a uh, detector rail inside each one. So as you can see, that is the arcade machine. It would be cool if we could knock that out and have that there. But again, that looks a lot ugly compared to... It's up to you. You can mess around with them. Tell me if you uh, advanced on them. Let me know in the comments section. Now this, I love this so much. It's a chess table. I can imagine two old people sitting there, me here. And someone else there, like, we're going to chess, let's do this. Alright, so, uh, again, these are very, very easy to do as well. You should all know how to make stairs by now. But let me just get rid of these. You want to place whatever colour you want. We will go with the normal colour here. You need to get a sign. Where is the sign? You need a sign. You need a... What is it? What was it? It was a jukebox. We need a jukebox. Was it a jukebox? Yes, it... No. What was it? I cannot remember. It's gone out of my memory. I cannot remember where is it, where is it, where is it? I've lost it, it's gone out my head. I think it, ah, there it is, da 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 da. It was a note block, okay. Big difference there, make sure it's not a jukebox, it's a note block, I got confused myself. Now just stand on top of it, place one there, place one there, and then place your sign on either side. And I'll just go down, press done, go down, press done, down, done, and then again, this side, down. And done. So as you can see, it looks really, really awesome. And if you wanted to mess around, you could just disturb someone's chess game and beat the 
the note block. Okay, so yeah, moving, moving, moving on. So they're, they're, they're two basic designs. We're going into a little bit more complicated and complex things. I wouldn't say this is complex, but this is my dance floor. So if you wanted to have some strobe lights, you'd be like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm twerking, I'm twerking. Okay, so don't get carried away like me. And um, this is very, very, very easy. And people have advanced on this. Up there, I am not going to remake this. But it is just a structure. Inside your house, you might have flooring above your entertainment room. So I guess you can use whatever you want here. That is down to you. I just did this for an example. It's just glowstone and fences just to look like a metal, I don't know, like a metal frame that's holding the lighting system above the disco, which is pretty awesome. And then in here, again, you can use whatever colors you want. It's down to you. It really, really is. I, I know these are tutorials, but they're very, very basic help. Um, let's just grab a... A lot of these, let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, and some white ones, and a black one. So you place them whatever angle you want, like so. So you want to place one there, one there. Make sure it's looking really, really awesome. Um, one there, one there, one there. Place that there, and then grab some more, just to change the colors a little bit. You don't want them to be too dull. You want to keep them quite light colors. Um, there and there as you can see looking pretty awesome in my opinion and um, I used iron blocks But it's up to you whatever blocks you want to use you can even use the colors I use this as like an outline color um, Just very very basic you can use diamond you can use lapis lazuli but I, I like the iron the block iron a lot better than any other one I think it's like an outline color in my opinion and then I place one there these are just stone slabs We're gonna just break these real quick uh, Where is it? Sorry, stone brick slabs. Haha. -ha. I get so confused sometimes. But again, very, very easy to do. That is the disco and it's nighttime, so I'm kinda glad we have that there. Um in fact, really quickly, I am gonna just place some of these glowstones just because I want to make keep it quite bright. I don't want it to be too dull. Just gonna make sure this is a little bit more brighter than anything else. I don't want it to be too too dark, although I could just go into bed and sleep. I guess that's would be more acceptable. Just gonna make this a little bit more lighter. One, two, three, and then we're just going to place one, two, three, four. There we go. So moving on, moving on, moving on. Now, this is my favorite design in this tutorial. This is a drum set, and believe it or not, you can even move down the seat. So it's very, very awesome, and again, very basic to do. So we're going to break it all. Let's just break it all, break it all, break it all. I know, I know, I shouldn't break it all, but oh well. La, 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 and say this was filled in with iron. There we go. So let's just clear everything that is here. So we're going to start off with, we need a um, a sticky piston. It's up to you. We need a lever or a lever, however you pronounce it. We need, where is it gone? We need a chiseled stone brick. We need, uh, what else is it? There's a few things for this one. A pressure plate. Where is the st sandstone? Is there, are we missing one thing? Uh, we need We need fences, okay. Where's the fences at? There we go. So there we go. That's very, very easy. Now you're breaking one block down and you're placing it like that and you leave it. Oops. Place your lever like this. There we go. Like that. Make sure it's facing that way. So when you do hit it, it goes this side and lifts this up. Um, don't get confused with that. It's not, not a big deal, but I like it because this way, this is meant to be the big drum. So it's like kind of hitting it, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that was a lot better. Um, you're placing two here on either side. Make sure you're placing two of these on either side as well. And then, voila, there you go. Place this on top of there as well, and you're done. See like how very, very easy that is. I mean, again, it's just more for decoration than use because you can't exactly play the drums. <laughs> but you can mess around with this. I love this so much. You can have so much fun messing around. Um, so moving on from the drum. Now, this is another cool thing I like. This is a roulette table. You can see it's black and white. Sorry, black and red for the colors. And this is the wheel. And then this is the board you can place your numbers on. But again, I think the designs are so very, very basic that it's fully up to you what you want to mess around with. So... I just want to clear my whole inventory real quick. We need, um, we're going to start off with the basics. And the first thing I want to recommend is grabbing the crafting table. And um, you're placing as many down, but I would recommend just placing four down like this. And um, get rid of that. You'll probably see yourself hitting these and going inside them by mistake. But don't worry, that just happens. You're picking black wool and red wool. Put them in alternate, alternative corners like this, like that. Oops, as you can see, I did exactly what I was saying. And uh, we need to grab some rails, like so. Two, three, four, and then that's the circle there. When the ball would spin, it's gonna stop. Da -da 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 stop. Okay, so it ended up on black. If you put some money on there, you win. And um, what else did I have? I had a trapdoor. Trapdoor just to add a little bit more detail on either side. Oops. 
There we go. One, two, one, two. There you go. Done. That's the roulette table. Now, this is definitely more for decoration than anything else. This is a piano. It is huge. I've seen a lot of people do these designs, and people have designed some incredible piano designs on YouTube. I did check them out. They were all PC-based, which is why I was quite happy to bring this one. But let's just break this out. It's just uh, black wall, fences, and you need uh, stone brick stairs. So let's just... Oops, I broke the floor. I do that so many times. That's, a, that's the worst thing about creative on Xbox. And down here, you will notice there's a lever there. I'm going to break that and explain that to you as well. Uh, let me just fix the flooring. It seems to be that I am always breaking the iron block. It's kind of lucky because they're doubled up. A little bit more difficult than the others, but not difficult at all. Um, so we're going to start off with this. Now again, you need a sticky piston and a lever. Place the lever underneath there. Sticky piston above, and then you want to hit the lever, and boom, you're done there. Now you simply cover up this area as well, so you can't see anything at all. Um, although you could stick a lever here and just mess around with that. Obviously, it's not going to work there because there's one underneath. Um, but it looks... How can I put it? It doesn't look good at all. So after that, you need your fences. Where are the fences gone? There we go. Um, you're going up just one. You don't need to go any further than one at all. Uh, one there as well. Uh, you need black wool. And you need the stone brick stairs. Now you're just placing three of these. Exactly like this. You can make it bigger. If it depends on the size of your room. If you want to make it bigger, feel free to make it bigger. And then you're going on angles like this. All the way until you get to this. Oops. Until you get to this. Ah. This point. God, I couldn't get my words out there. And then as you can see, you can even place one more uh well in fact i would recommend if you want to be more realistic to place one there as well just to hold the piano but as you can see that is the piano we're playing it la, 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 la. okay moving on moving on moving on i'm enjoying this i love this episode so much uh and this is something i really 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 did enjoy this is a pinball machine whether you can tell it or not you can see either side we have the buttons for when you go up and up and up and up and up and this is very very basic to make in fact, it's probably the best thing that I did uh, I did come across. Come on. Break. Okay, they just disappeared. To clear your inventory, uh, you're using two iron blocks. And you need two redstone lamps. I'm so glad they were introduced. I was kind of struggling to find them. But then I realized, yes, they were introduced. Now, you're placing it like that. Two iron blocks on top of each other. And then two redstone lamps uh, on a long diagonal way. Uh, and then we're moving on to... What else do we need? You need paintings, you need buttons, whatever colour you want to use, that's down to you again. Uh, we need, what was it, a power rail and a detector rail. Don't ask me why, I just think that's better. So your paintings can go up here, don't worry if it's two. Um, like this, I mean, let's see if we can get two, like this. It looks a lot a lot cooler in my opinion if you can get two. Ah, oh, it worked this time. And then you place it like that, place it like that. I don't know why, I just think it looks a lot cooler than anything else. Place these on either side. Placing one item, um, sorry, one painting there. Power rail, detector rail, and voila, you are done. How awesome is that? I think it's incredible. Although it's not the best, oh, we need to place one there as well. Although it's not the best, I think it's a pretty cool design to have in your house. I can hear it. A silly spider. Go away. Go away. Oh, is it a spider jockey? Look at him. I can see him in the background. Um, so, yeah, that was the pinball machine. Now this is a punching bag, as you can see, la 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 la, you have to have these quite raised, I did place it there, then I had to move up, then I had to move up to the highest point, um, so again, you're just using red wool, fences, and stone brick slabs, so let's get the stone brick slabs, let's get the red wool, again, you can use whatever, oops, whatever colour you want, and we need fences, where are the fences, there we go, and then you're placing it quite high, um, if your house is, say, your house is like the same as mine, it's five blocks up, Place it on the on the fifth block like this place two out bring one down and then you're bringing two Red wool down as well. So that is the punching bag. Although if I punch it it disappears. God damn it Okay, so yeah, that's very easy to do now This is just something I thought was pretty cool to have maybe by your bedside cabinet It does say on the information that I get my um My tutorials from uh, while that guys I do make them myself I mean I read up to what you could explain this to be and it's meant to be like an aquarium I don't even know, it doesn't really look like an aquarium, but hey, I guess it's more of a house decoration than anything else. So we need to have a bookshelf, I think that was a lapis lazuli block, yes it was, and we need to get the trap door. So you're placing that down there, lapis lazuli on top, very very quick this one, very easy to do. Oops, why are you not letting me place? There we go, 
there we go and just lift them all up there there you go so yeah more of a little um house decoration you can place these all around your house now this one I'm quite impressed with this one, alright? I, I, I'm not over the moon, but I feel like this is pretty cool. Now, to make it look a little bit more fresh for when you're, play, you're, when you're playing with friends, you want to do this. Let me just get about 64 of them, and about 64 of these. Now, all you do is you're shooting these inside, um, and the fish as well. Oops. Like, ah, oh, it's kind of broken. Okay, well you place something inside, and as you can see, it looks like there's fish inside. I don't know, this is meant to be a proper aquarium. Although the fish and the items don't stay there forever, you can quickly do it and invite your friends. I do like it, although it looks a lot better on PC, I have to admit, because that looks like a goddamn super fish. But that is the aquarium. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you how that works. Now there's a few steps that I would recommend listening to on this one, because if you don't, you're going to flood your house with ice. Um, the majority of these people will, you, you can't use this for... Um, uh, what is it? You can't use this for survival because you can't have the ice block, which is very, very sad. Unless you did it in uh, the snow biome, I guess you could say. That's the only hope you have. But all you're doing is placing it like this. So it's just two, 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 two. You can make it as big as you want. You're placing the oops all the way around, apart from the back two. So you have it open like this, as you can see. And then make sure, if you're doing it in creative, you place these blocks on top. This will prevent your ice from melting. Because if you leave it, it will melt and flood your whole house. Which I'm pretty sure you don't want to happen. But again, very, very basic. And you can stick the fish inside. But that is it, guys. That was a very, very awesome episode. I enjoyed doing that. That was the entertainment room. If you have any problems making these, which I'm pretty sure you don't because they are very, very basic de designs, let me know in the comments section. And apart from that, I'm Echo Egg Soldier. Check out the previous episodes of this series down below. And I hope you did enjoy. Peace out and have a nice day.